Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Supercar Street Racing here and we have the funniest named product in the world. It's the 10 LOL, 10 LOL voltage meter, 48 volt volt meter and also USB quick charger. We are going to be installing it today on the murdered out card. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so here is the carbon fiber dash and it looks like we are going to try to install it right about here. Can't do it here because there are cup holders in the way, but if we put it right here, I felt back behind there. I don't think it's gonna be an issue because there's nothing behind there. It just has to be wide enough to make it through this right here and I think it should be fine. I have my uh, multi bit ready to cause some damage to the dash and it is about that wide that we're gonna have to drill. So we're gonna use this multi bit and it is good for up to, what does it say, one and three eighths. So I'm just gonna look that up and make sure that that's big enough to get this, but I'm looking at the bottom of the 10 wall and I'm looking at this and this is probably fine. So we'll start small and go ahead and go get this thing installed into the cart. Okay, I absolutely have panic attacks about uh, drilling into the dash. It's something I absolutely do not like doing, but it is a thing that has to happen to get this installed. So. We have the drill out here with the multi-bit and we have our measuring tape and we're going to try to put it about right here. So the total is an inch and a half. Ooh. Yeah, about an inch and a half. I'm just going to try to eye it down the center and right about here and just hope it works and if it doesn't work I mess my dash up forever on camera but here's the multi bit loaded up now we don't want to go too much so we'll do a little bit at a time let's see what the center is really want to get like the exact center but it's really tough I'm gonna do it by eye right there all right so nowhere near big enough we know that we got to go quite a bit bigger. Hopefully I didn't go too far up. Right, we are getting there. The next step is the one. We are basically there. Not quite. One more. Try it like that. So close. Yeah. 
really close. That should be it. There we go. We don't need this cover. It came with a little cover. We don't need that. It's not going to get wet. I'm not going to take this cart out in the rain. That's it, brother. Looks awesome. Now all, I get, all we gotta do is wire it up from the back. So I need to get my heat gun out and my soldering stuff. And we have a 48 volt right there. We're gonna solder it to. This should be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. These are 48 volts, but unfortunately, they don't fit this type of spade. They're too small, so I'm gonna actually cut them unless I have some spades that fit them. I might have some, I'm gonna check real quick. I got my collection of spade connectors out here. I have a whole box of them. And what we are looking for is a female, and I don't know what size these would be, but they're pretty small. We got the key off now, so we're looking for a male. These things suck, by the way. They are hard to crimp and they come off easily. Those are too big.
out here. All right, we're just going to finish it up with some electrical tape.
Okay, so unfortunately it does not fast charge my phone. I thought it would be a fast charger. It is not. It's just showing regular charging. That's a bummer. Um, I thought it said uh, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, but you can see there the installation is clean. It's straight. It still needs to be tightened up some more, or either I'll throw some glue on the back of it, one or the other. But yeah, we got that installed, and now we have a voltage meter and a USB charger in the car. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time.